Are you serious? Are you serious? We are in a police state right now. Americans are increasingly living in a police state. And the road looks very bleak unless the citizens stop being complacent and take back their government, according to the Rutherford Institute President John Whitehead. Folks, it's getting uglier by the minute. Of course, Jade Helm, this uh, secretive type covert military drill that's going to take place across about 15 states, especially in the South, has a lot of folks on edge. And now with the closing of these five Walmarts and the fact that they all five were closed and all their employees told they had to be out and gone, their jobs were eliminated in five hours, and they've all under heavy security. Uh, I've gotten, I've received pictures from Stephen of, of Oklahoma, who actually went to one of the Walmart locations in Tulsa, Oklahoma, took pictures of all the heavy security. Uh, Anita Fuentes did a video she received from uh, Stephanie in California, who went to another location and uh, got actually even got to get inside and, and it was all closed up and high, high security everywhere and was made to leave the premises. Um, there's something going on. Of course, we know the tunnels. They said all five of these Walmarts closed because of plumbing. Um, but it seems like there's more going on than what meets the eye. A police state would be subjecting the citizens to intense harassment simply for backing maybe one political candidate over another. Uh, there was three people who were supporters of presidential candidate Scott Walker up in Wisconsin who had SWAT teams come in, break into their homes, only to have no arrest and nothing there. Um, it's not being announced, folks. The news is not. The, main, the lamestream media is not sharing with you what's going on. Back in the 1980s, you would have SWAT teams go in to uh, potentially very hostile environments, maybe drug cartels or other type of situations where there would be a lot of guns, drugs, and money involved. 3,000 of these SWAT entries would go on a year in America. Today, we're averaging 80,000. 80,000. 80,000 last year alone. And we're on pace to continue that. Since the Obama administration has taken over, folks, the numbers of SWAT team entry into people's homes and businesses and have confiscated inventories uh, has absolutely quadrupled. Uh, this is this is an absolute, seems like a reign of terror uh, upon especially certain groups, certain conservative, right-wing, leaning organizations, patriots, veterans, and even Christians in some cases. We're beginning to see more and more of this type of invasion of the American public, it is skyrocketing. And I can tell you just this afternoon, actually it was this morning, we've been in contact with a very high-ranking uh, Jewish rabbi that uh, we're going to be interviewing in Israel. And uh, he corresponded back and accepted our invitation. I'm not going to tell you who he is simply because this happened. And then his correspondence then was censored from our Facebook page. And his message to me was then erased. We had to go back, find him, uh, and reconnect. Uh, and we've got everything. Now we've got all the information again. He had to resend it, but it was literally deleted and censored by Facebook. And I can understand why they're doing it. It's wrong. But he's a very very high-ranking Jewish rabbi, and this is a very intense time in history in the Middle East. And I will share more with you about that uh, in, in, in the coming weeks when I get ready to interview him. I'm not going to let that get spoiled in advance. So having said all that, we've got a lot going on, folks. 
Uh, we're going to talk about the police state of America. We're going to talk about the CERN and the earthquakes in Nepal, the volcano in Chile, uh, the hailstorms that fell. We're also going to talk about Clinton Cash and Hillary Clinton's statement that belief, religious beliefs will have to change. I'll play, it's her own words, and I'll play it for you. So we've got a lot to cover tonight. I need your prayers because I've been in the bed sick for three days. But I think collectively together, God can make a way somehow. I will. Lord willing, I'll see you tonight. Broadcast starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Do not miss it.